Good evening from the Vegetable Garden here in Greenville, South Carolina. Tonight we're going to be hearing from the candidates themselves in our continuing coverage of The Road to the Greenhouse. Starting on the right, we have Fruity Giuliani, Mike Huckleberry, Mitt Romney, Spread Thompson, Dijon McCain, Dennis Kuspinich, Celery Clinton, John Redwoods, Gil Richardson, and Broccoli Obama. Yay! I'm Jim Pear from the News Hour, and with me is George Lollipopoulos and Spam Donaldson. I'd like to open the proceedings with a question about perhaps the single most important issue facing our country right now. And I think we all know what that is. Does eating meat cause impotence? Celery Clinton? I, for one, know from experience that a whopper at the drive-thru can lead directly to a flopper in the bedroom. <laughs> America's women don't ever want to have to be in the position of saying to their husbands, close, but no cigar. <laughs> the best thing for my husband is a healthy vegetarian diet. Or an impeachment. <laughs> <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, eating my veggies has not only caused a noticeable improvement in my health, but I was able to date and eventually marry a 29-year-old bombshell with a tongue stud. And that's despite my funny ears. This just fails me with, with, with so much hope and optimism. If the four of us could just come together to work for a better America, I think our country would finally have a, a, a club sandwich? <laughs> I think it's time to move on to the next question. This one concerns family values. I'd like each of the candidates to speak for a few moments about whether they are pro-choice or pro-life. Fruity Giuliani? While I value all life and openly condemn the horrors that go on in slaughterhouses, I also recognize the supreme importance of American supermarkets giving our citizens a choice of tasty and health-giving alternatives to meat. For instance, just this week when I was in 7-Eleven. Must you bring every issue back to 7-Eleven? This is pertinent. When I was in 7-Eleven, I was making here. a choice between a healthy strawberry energy bar and a delicious blueberry muffin when... I'm sorry, but we're never going to get anywhere if we insist on dividing this country into red fruits and blue fruits. I have gay friends who enjoy red fruits and Christian friends who like blue fruits. It shouldn't matter which kind of vegetarian food you like best. What matters is that you're making a compassionate choice in the first place. Now this is just one more example of why Broccoli Obama is too green to run for president. Well, this debate's getting pretty heated. Puts me in the mood for a stir fry. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. Alfalfa gore! Did I miss anything? Well, yes. In your documentary, you left out an inconvenient fact that the meat industry is the number one cause of global warming. No, I'll know. While these candidates have strong opinions on both sides of the edible spectrum, I think we can all agree that for our own health, for the environment, and for animals, it is high time we gave peas a chance. Thank you and good night.